Hi there. So over the past several months, I've noticed an uptick in vehicle break-ins around my area, and this prompted me to begin looking for a portable solution for a mobile radio I had mounted in my pickup truck. And that radio is this TYT TH7800. And basically what I was looking for is the ability to take this radio in and out of my truck. And uh, after searching the internet, I came across several solutions, but the one I settled on is produced by a company called Armalock. And I'll leave links in the description below for those of you interested in a similar setup. I wasn't sure if they had a frame that fit this radio because it's an older model and I believe the 7800 is discontinued. So I emailed Armalock the brand, model number, dimensions, and they confirmed they had a frame and that ended up being their model number TPA8889 and that is this pack frame. And there's a couple of options you can uh, select when ordering a pack frame from them. So the first is a data package, which includes a six-pin mini-din female-to-male cable and a relocation mount. And the second available add-on is a CW slash speaker package that includes a 3.5 millimeter audio female-to-male cable, and it has a relocation mount. For the purposes of this rig, I chose the CW speaker package and skip the data option and this is the speaker package here. This is the cable with the relocation mount. And when in the field, uh, and uh, probably just for now uh, until I select a different power supply, but uh, I'll be running uh, this Revolt G2 from Harden Power Systems. And uh, we'll see how that does. But I'll probably swap this out for another uh, power supply at some point. I currently run this with, with an HF rig, and um, it works pretty well in the field and seems to be a pretty, pretty rugged uh, power supply. Uh, and to connect this uh, power supply, I'm going to be using an OEMT to power pole cable. And I got this from... Uh, powerworks.com and basically uh, how this works is you're going to plug in the Anderson cable into the Revolt and then connect it to the radio. Okay, now let's go through the assembly of the pack frame and talk about what parts you'll need. So the pack frame comes with all the hardware you'll need to mount the frame to the radio. However, you will need to purchase a cable for the antenna feed line and some adapters to complete the assembly. Uh, for demonstration purposes, I'll be using this old Aubrey antenna I had lying around the shop, but I'll likely end up purchasing a better quality antenna for the field, as well as a magnetic mount antenna for when I use this rig in my truck. The adapters and cable I'll be using are, uh, the first one's this SMA mail to BNC mill adapter. That's on the bottom of the Aubrey antenna. The next is a PL259 to BNC uh, female right angle adapter, and that attaches to the back of the radio. And so you'll want a right angle adapter because when you attach your feed line, you don't want your feed line protruding beyond the pack frame. And so for the feed line, I'll be using this RG8X BNC mail to BNC mail 12 inch cable, and that will attach to the back of the radio, and then uh, the other end goes to the, the mount for the antenna. And so lastly, I use the dimensions of the pack frame to determine the size pouch I'll need. So uh, I can attach the rig to a backpack when I'm in the field. Okay, let's start the assembly. So the first thing that we'll do is attach the audio mount to this side of the frame. And then we will attach the antenna mount to the other. But let's get started on the audio mount. We'll use the screws that Armalock provided.
tight. And now let's do the antenna mount. Next. on there. Okay, next we'll attach the connector for the antenna feed line. see this, but that is what it looks like. Alright, our next step is to attach the sides of the pack frame to the radio. So we'll, we'll start with this side first. Okay, and that's what it looks like so far. It's starting to come together. Okay, now we'll connect the audio cable to the radio and then the antenna feed line. So we'll turn this over, connect the audio cable to the back of the radio. And connect the antenna feed line. Okay, and for demonstration purposes, we could just attach this upper antenna, and that is what the assembled pack frame looks like. This is the final product. I've got the pack frame inside of a pouch I got from an army surplus store, the Aubrey antenna and power supply are connected, so we'll turn on our power supply and see if our radio powers up. And it does. Okay, well that's it for this video. Thank you for watching.